what's going on guys welcome back to another episode of city skylines my name is sports monkey welcome back to my sports monkey channel if you've if this is the first time you're visiting this channel welcome if you're a subscriber or have seen my videos before welcome back and i do appreciate you showing back up so welcome to the town of franklinville we are using the sunset harbor or the city skyline sunset harbor dlc so let me zoom out a little bit. We got a lot going on since you, you're, we are last here. So for today, I wanted to build the high density. I want to start building high density. In order to do that, you need to have 1,700. Um, I have lost a few people because I let the simulation sim while I was actually doing laundry, and we lost a few people. But anyways, the things that we did, I did add while you're gone was this little neighborhood. I added that little extension. Then I did add some major detailing to this neighborhood. Remember it was a giant umbrella and it was kind of open and there wasn't much to it. Well, I did add some paths. I did add some trees and I filled it in and it looks really nice. So nothing too crazy while you're gone, but um, you know, just, just noteworthy. Then remember over here, I showed you that this was the part of town that wasn't detailed. Well, I did add some paths. I did add some trees and it's very much detailed and it looks really good. Then the final thing I would like to say is I did add, uh, we did get up to a five star or left and to the right we have the small saplings. So now for today, I wanted to build the, I, I wanted to start the high density residential in our city center. So I added this tile over here. And so what I'm gonna do before I connect the highway, I'm actually gonna build what I have in mind. So what we're gonna do right now is we are going to use the large road and we're going to kind of put it along this cliff we can't make it waterfront because guess what waterfront is right there anyways we're going to go as close as humanly possible to this water waterfront and we're going to go about 3400 which works out really really well and then the next thing we want to do actually is so since this is our middle so what we need a building that is actually going to kind of give us the middle of our of our city center. So what I'm going to do is I'm looking for one building in particular. Where is it? I'm just going to use our tax office because I it really will look not nice on the waterfront, but it's also a good middle. It fits really nicely in the middle. Basically, that's all I'm getting at. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some other roads. So I'm actually going to add one road over here and one road over here. Now I do, this is for the city center. So let's see, did I, okay, good. I added those pretty, those are pretty level on how let's 1260, 1260. Okay, cool. So what I want to do first before I do anything else is we're trying to build a hub. This is going to be kind of like a little hub. If you think about it, um, it's going to be our city center and it's going to be our hub area of the city. And now I understand, I know you're going to get upset, but I understand I do not have a Metro line yet, but this is for the aesthetic portion of it. So let's see where, Again, this is going to be our city center hub. So I'm just trying to, I don't have guidelines. I don't have anything really where I can measure. <laughs> so that's, so let's see. So let's see if this is about right. I'm just, I'm, I'm ballparking it, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go back to over here, the plaza and that looks good. That looks good. This is, like I said, this is just... This is just for to figure out where our dead center of town is going to be. So this looks really good. Um, I'm okay with having two paths. So let's see over here. We're going to add there. I need, I want a path with trees. There it is there. So we're going to go up like this, go up like this again. This is just our little hub. So don't freak out. Go like this. There you go. So add that. Uh, I will add some more detailing, but basically this is our city center. And this is, you know, obviously later on when we do have metros, we're going to have those working. But for the time being, I'm going to leave that be. 
Then I'm also going to extend out our large roads just a little bit. Just trying to line those up. So see how I mentioned before, it's kind of like a little H. Not a little, well, not a little H. This would be a big H. But um, anyways, let's, so let's just do this just so we have good connections. And we're gonna just move this going this way. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. So there is some uniformity to what we're doing. And it's not just <laughs> throwing things together and hoping it works out. So I do wanna add a couple of buildings that I think would fit nicely. Um, I, I kinda like this grand mall, or excuse me. Excuse me, yeah, it is the grand mall. I kinda like it right there. So it'd be, it's a very prominent building. And it looks really, it'll look really good in our city center. So I'm very happy with that building. Then what we're going to do also before I add another building, I do want to add the residential portion of this. So I am going to go like that. All right. And then we're going to, we're going to cap it off like right here. So we need a, a building that will really fit and keep everything very tight uh, residential wise in the city. See how there's no gaps over there? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go over here, fill that in, do the same thing. So as you can tell that there really is no gap. We don't want any blank spaces basically in our city center. So we have that. Now I do wanna add one more, a couple more of these buildings. Which one is kinda, that's, that fits okay, but I would like something that's a little bit bigger. Oh, I would actually really like if that fit. What's wrong with it? Oh, it's not wide enough. Okay, that's okay. Hmm. That's too big. Let's put this right here. So this building is what's called the sea and sky scraper. Wait, did I read that correctly? The sea and sky scraper. Yes, I did read that correctly. Okay, so we'll put that there. Then, you know what? I still really like that transportation building. Now, the luxury hotel would not work. Transport, transport tower. Yeah, I really like this high interest tower. Excuse me, I, I mentioned the wrong tower before, but I really do like this building and it's very prominent and it's one of the higher it's since this is since there's gonna be skyscrapers, there's gonna be it's gonna be perfect for our higher when, when our skyscrapers and our high density start actually filling in, that will actually fit really, really nicely. So, so far, this is our basic layout of our city center. And now we do need to add some high density resident, uh, high density commercial. We do need to add the high density residential soon, but that is coming. So this looks really good so far. I really do like it. We'll add some more commercial over here. I do want to add some office buildings. Uh, let's just, nope, hold on. I want to leave that path alone and we'll add like a park or something, I think, along there. And I forgot I need to pause the game. That was a really good mistake. Amateur hour over here. Anyways, uh, so let's add a park. This is just a normal, this is going to be a normal generic park, so don't think, oh, I wish that would fit. There you go. And then we're, we'll add a path with trees along here. Right along there. Cool. So that looks really nice. Then we'll fill in that commercial. <clears throat> that looks really cool. I'm really a big fan of what, what this looks like so far. Um, I am going to add some office buildings over here. That is not office building sports monkey. This is office buildings. There you go. So just mix in some commercial, mix in some office buildings, and you know it'll fill in really, really, really nicely. And then we'll fill in this high density commercial over here. 
Now, you guys are probably wondering, where in the world are you putting the residential? And I will show you that right now. So see this little area? This is, well, we can't, well, to be fair, we cannot put high density commercial, or we can't put high density residential on a major avenue. So don't do that. And we'll add some more over here. There you go. Perfect. Now our high density residential will be in the middle of this, essentially. So this looks perfect the way it is. I really do like the way this is turning out. It looks, it's going to be really nice. And, it, and again, I understand that, you know, you might not like this, but you can edit the any way you want. So remember, I did add a lot of the trees or the roads with trees. So remember that. Now I do need some water and I do need some move over the electric from our city. So let's just do this. Fill this in. And obviously we're gonna expand this as time goes on. So please don't think that, that this is just it, but this is just a very good basic, I would say a very basic start to your city and it will look really, really nice. That's just something to keep in mind. It's going to look very nice. Now, where the heck can I connect this water? Oh my gosh. So let's go all the way over here. And oh, I guess we can connect it to our force. And oh, no, out of city. Oh, uh, the map. Duh. I was not thinking about the map. So there's that. Now, should we build its own little power plant or should we drag a power line? Um, I'm just going to drag a power line eventually. Eventually, this will all be filled in anyways, but for the time being, let's just add the power line. And I... There we go. Now, the last thing we need to do is actually connect this highway connection. So, how can we do this correctly without creating... Oop, I did not... Okay, so let's delete the train line. Uh, I I know we will want the train. I know that completely. But I want to make sure our city center will have good traffic flow getting going in and out of the city. I That is my number one concern. So what I'm going to kind of do is remember early in this, early on in this, uh, series I did use one of these roundabouts so I kind of want to do the same thing so delete that delete that delete that okay so remember what I did last time is to make sure that the the roundabout stays circular add this in the middle so this plus sign so now we can add let's add here hold on just looking make sure we have the right one so we want to go like this and we want to go like that. Did I use the? Hold on, I'm just trying to make sure it's the same angle. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, very happy with that. There we go, so now how will we attach it? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna do something that's very simple. Yeah, we can change this later on, but I think this is just a good way. Oh, there's the train, okay. Sorry, I was wondering what was in the way over there. There we go. So I think this is a good way of, I think that'll work. I think that will work. And then we'll add some more residential over here. There you go. Okay, so let's fill in that residential. Remember high density. So this is just a good way to plan out your city center. And I it's it looks really good so far, and I'm very happy with the way it looks. I know my measurements were not exact, but you know, they it worked out. It worked in the end. What I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna set up a bus line. I do need other services around here. I like um what am I forgetting? I need healthcare around here. I need fire. I need police and all that good stuff. So let's just add. 
We'll add a fire station over here. And then we'll add the police station right off there. That works perfect. Then we will need some... Um, I don't want to put that. Let's just put the medical clinic over there. Perfect. Now, uh, let's connect our train line <laughs> that I deleted. Uh, oh, that's bad. Well, I don't have the train unlocked yet. That's funny. Well, do you think if I... Hold on, let's just mess around with this real quick. Okay, there we go. Uh, now I'm going to delete it. So what I did was I, I fakely, fakely added a cargo transportation center and then I deleted it. But guess what it unlocked? It unlocked the train track. So let's, let's go. Let's go over. No, that, no, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want to see the side of that. It could look interesting, but no, let's not do that. So now I'm just building. I know I don't have any trains yet. I know well, very well where that. There you go. So that is going to be our city center. Um, I am actually going to let this fill in and you guys will be able to kind of see what the end result is. I am going to also add the buses over here, a bus line. So it's going to go around in a circle. Perfect. I'm going to add that. Then I'm actually going to add, since we're so far away, I'm going to add a... Oh, I need water. I'm going to have its own bus that goes from here into town. So what I mean by that, it's going to have its own... It's going to have basically one stop, essentially. So this is kind of like our city center. And it's going to go around here. And then it's going to go... Where is our... Where is our hub? There it is right there. It's going to go that way. Then it's going to come back around this way. There you go. So that looks really nice. And I am going to let this fill in for a little bit. It, But this is the basic city center of what it looks like. And I am going to actually add in some detailing. And welcome back guys. So we're back here and I did let the game kind of uh, fast forward a little bit and let everything fill in. So this is what our city center hub looks like and it looks fantastic. Honestly, look at the details I put in. I have bushes, I have different flowers and stuff like that. It looks super nice. Then look at our transfer, uh, our high interest building and then our skyscraper. Uh, the sea and land skyscraper or no it's the sea and sky skyscraper and then we have our grand mall it fits in really nicely it's a little bit different and unique unique architecture and it, it just makes it really look really good and then this is our high density residential everything here looks really good so far also and we do have really good traffic flow so far so very happy with that i did add a few services like i do have the police station and the fire station but overall i'm very happy with how this looks it turned out really well and everything even from the highway connection over here it looks really 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 well done obviously we're going to expand that as time goes on but this is just how you start the high density residential part of your city so thank you guys for watching and i do appreciate it have a great rest of your day, and I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I did not post any just for, uh, since I live in the United States, it was just, uh, it was a day off, and, you know, I just, <laughs> I was just kind of observing that. So, have a great rest of your day, and uh, thank you for watching, and have a good one, guys.